You can't beat this AI. When you play Pong, you can usually estimate where the ball is going to go given the angle and the position of the ball. From my experience, most AIs just follow the ball, so it's pretty easy to outsmart them. So I wanted to create a version of Pong that could not be beaten. But this Pong won't be for the fancy command prompt. Mm -mm, no, no, no. This Pong will be written in C for the TI-84 graphing calculator. Without further ado, let's get right into it. I'll start off by drawing the ball in the paddle. Simple enough, but they can't move. For now, I'll control the paddle on the right and the paddle on the left will follow the ball. The AI can follow the ball, but if I increase the speed of the ball after every hit, it won't be able to keep up. My first solution will be to divide the court into six sections. If the ball falls into one of these sections, the AI's paddle will move in between the lines until it hits the ball. This looks nice, but it'll eventually run into the same problem. Why is it teleporting? I knew this wasn't going to work, so I scrapped everything. My next solution was to predict the ball. The AI has to know where the ball is going to go before the ball even knows where the ball is going to go. To visualize this, I created a fake ball. The fake ball will behave exactly like the real ball, with an exception to its speed. When it gets where the AI's paddle should be, I'll stop it and record its Y position. Then, when the real ball hits the AI's paddle, I'll resume its projection. This seemed like it was going to go well, but the real ball is barely missing the paddle. Since the ball is angled at 45 degrees, it is hard to hit in any case. I messed around with the slope of the ball for hours and hours. I wanted to randomize the angle, but getting the slope of the real ball to line up with the slope of the fake projection was just torturous. I'm not sure if I just suck at 7th grade math or if this was genuinely difficult. But I scrapped the idea of a randomized angle completely. I settled with a 25 degree angle and the AI seemed to be able to handle that. Next I added speed to the ball every time it hit the paddle and I oop. Since the speed of the ball is increasing after every hit, the ball and its projection will eventually become too fast and run off the screen. This is a rare case scenario so I just worked on realigning the ball after each hit. And voila! Let's try to play against it. I got lucky a couple of times, but in the end, it was all for nothing. If you enjoyed this video at any point, make sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more coding content like this, make sure to subscribe. It's everyday code for everyday people, and I'll see you in the next video. Please don't look at the source code.